Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing right away so that you can get intimated about any new videos I post in this channel. In this video, you will learn how to create a unique and useful animated infographic in PowerPoint. The beautiful animated infographic you will learn to create today looks like this. You can use this for any 2x2 matrix or any of the models that has four components and the way it works is like this. On a click, you can see that we bring the attention to the first component like this. And then on a click, we move the attention to the second component while the attention given to the first one is taken away. Then on a click, you can see that we have the third component highlighted and the corresponding text shown here. And then on a click, the fourth component is highlighted and the corresponding text is shown here. It's a very useful and very practical animated infographic, which is very easy for you to learn and create. I'll show you how to do this beautiful graphic from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From rectangles, I'm going to pick up the second one called as Rectangle Rounded Corners. I'm going to click on that, hold the shift button down as I create a perfect square which has rounded corners like this. Then I'm going to make multiple copies of this. I'm going to press Ctrl D and then I'm going to place this right next to the previous one. I'm going to select both of them, hold the Ctrl button down as I move them to the new location right below the previous set. And now we have a 2x2 two two matrix in place. Now I'm going to select all of them, go to shape fill and give it a light gray color like this. And then I'm going to go to gradient and I'm going to give this kind of a gradient called linear down. Now that looks very beautiful. And I'm going to go to shape outline, white outline, and then increase the weight of this to around three points. Now that looks very nice. And I'm going to press control G to group them. And then I'm going to right click Go to size and position option, go to the rotation option and I'm going to rotate it to 45 degrees. So now we have got this bit in place. Now I'm going to select this again, make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner so that I can create a bigger version of the same shape. I'm going to right click and send this to back and I'm going to select this one and the previous one, go to arrange, align and say align center and then arrange, align and say align middle. And now we've got a very beautiful graphic with two layers. Now I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup so that I can ungroup all the pieces like the way that you see here. Now I'm going to give the outer layer a very different color. So I'm going to select all the outer layers like this and I'm going to go to shape fill and choose this orange color. Now I'm going to add my alphabets here to complete the model. Let us say I want to use this to represent SWOT analysis. I'm going to have SWOT here. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and then let us write the alphabet S and let us use a thicker font. So let me go to 2 sen condensed extra bold and I'm going to increase the font size to somewhere around 40. Now that looks good. I can even change the font color to white and then I can place this right in the center like so. You can see that my guides are helping me to place this exactly in the center of that rounded square. Now I'm going to press Ctrl D for this one and I'm going to place the copy of this right over here and I'm going to change this to W which represents weaknesses and then I'm going to do the same for here and I'm going to change this to O which represents opportunities and then I'm going to make a copy of this here. I'm just holding the control button down as I'm moving it to the new position and that is the reason why you can see that I have got copies made quite easily. Now this is pretty nice. Now I'm going to click and drag my cursor across and I'm going to place this to the side like this. And then I'm going to have my text elements shown here. So I'm going to select all these, press Ctrl C and then I'm going to paste it here. I'm not going to show you how exactly to write your text here because that's something very basic. You can watch any of our videos and you know how to write your text using text boxes. This one is a separate text box and this one is a separate text box. 
this one has a thicker font and this one has the normal font so that is how we created and once we created the subtitle and the corresponding points here we grouped them together so each of these is a group in itself so all that is preparatory work so that you can focus on the animation here the way that I'm going to apply the animation is I'm going to draw the viewers attention to the first element here now let us open the animation pane and see how the whole thing needs to be animated from scratch our objective is to draw the viewers attention to each point at a time now let us draw the viewers attention to the first alphabet which is S I'm going to select this highlight here and I'm going to use a very simple animation called split animation and this is how the entrance animation happens then I'm going to add one more animation to the same highlight so I'm going to select that object go to add animation since this is a second animation added on to the same object we cannot use any of these options otherwise the earlier one would get replaced so let us go to add animation this time I'm going to use exit animation and the exit animation I'm going to use is split animation so that is how the highlight gets vanished pretty beautiful then I'm going to do the same for the remaining ones as well I'm going to select this I'm going to use split animation and if you see the earlier one that is used is vertical in this is the default one since it is in the horizontal position I'm going to use horizontal in option so that the effect looks the same for each one of these I'm going to add the next animation exit split and we are going to change this to horizontal in excellent now we are going to do that to this one as well so let us go to split and let us go to add animation and exit split and we are leaving this the way it is with the default because by default it is vertical in and it is in the vertical position for this one we need to change it to horizontal position so let us go to split and then add animation and then go to split and for each of these we are going to change the direction to horizontal in and for this one horizontal in now that's beautiful we have got all our animations in place now we need to have the animation for each of these elements as well so I'm going to select the first group hold the shift button down as I select the second third and fourth groups the order of selection is very important and I'm going to use a simple wipe animation from left and it is going to happen after previous so now we have got all our animations in place we have got animation for this highlighter to enter and exit the scene and we have got animation for revealing each of these text elements now it is just a matter of reordering the things so that we have a beautiful animation sequence happening so that we can highlight each point in turn the first thing is we have got the highlighter entering the scene so that is perfectly fine we are not going to do anything with it then for the next click I want two things to happen first I want this to vanish which is happening as you can see then at the same time I want this to happen as well so I'm going to say the second entrance animation needs to happen with previous so as you can see on the second click the highlighter vanishes from the first one and enters in the second one can you see that that's beautiful then we are going to continue the same for the remaining ones as well and on the next click you have this one vanishing and this one entering at the same time so this one vanishing and this one entering so we are going to say with previous and the same way the next one and the next one happens with previous and the last one we don't really require we don't need to have this vanish so I'm going to have the last exit animation removed so I'm going to hit delete so we've got these things in place now we want to have these elements happening right after each click so I'm going to move the first one which is the animation associated with this text and this happens right after the highlighting happens so you can see this is after previous the same way I'm going to have this moved so this group moves and I'm going to place this right next to the second click so all these are happening in one go the same way on the second click the event that happens is this vanishes this enters and after this this needs to enter the scene so I'm going to have the group associated with this placed right next to the second click and you can see that on one click this vanishes and this enters after that this one enters the scene so that is exactly what we have done here 
if you follow whatever i am doing with your own version then you would be able to understand the sequence quite easily and you would be able to see the impact of each of these rearrangements and you will be able to use custom animation like a master once you learn how to work with the various animation sequences i am going to move the same thing for this one right next to the third click this one i am going to leave it the way it is only that i'm going to have after previous added once again you can see that there is a huge amount of gap between this and this so i'm going to apply after previous so it happens right next to the previous one beautiful now let us see how the various animation events play out let us go to the slideshow mode on a click the first one is highlighted and then the corresponding text is shown then on the next click this vanishes this enters and then this one happens can you see here vanishes enters and this text appears vanishes enters text appears vanishes enters text appears so that is how this animated graphic works it's a very beautiful animated graphic i highly recommend that you try it out right away so that you can understand how animations need to be worked with and how to play with the animation events if you are someone who doesn't want to be bothered with all these it is always a good idea to use comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle We've got tons of highly advanced custom animation templates available to you ready made for you to just plug and play in your presentations. When you use these templates your audience will definitely be paying attention to what you have to say. You would have much better control in the way you present your information because each of the animations are done with purpose. If you're a business presenter who values your time and want to make a lasting impression on your audience then comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle is a necessary one time investment the roi from this product is really huge let me show you some templates taken from all in one powerpoint bundle where we use advanced custom animation the first example is this one where we show the 2 by 2 matrix in a very different way can you see here a hand brings in the first element the second element the third element and the fourth element it is so smooth and it's so professional and it helps you to present your matrix diagrams with real panache another example is this one where we talk about four parts of a puzzle and it's a variation of this can you see here how each of these pieces come in quite nicely and there is a nice bounce effect as well another example is four parts of the thinking process here we are moving from simple puzzles to puzzles that communicate something more than what is uh, apparent like for example you can see here this is one piece and this one is the piece of a person's face can you see here all four combined together to form an individual you can use this in a number of concept diagrams another example is this one which doesn't really have much of custom animation that we used earlier this is another thing that people want they want something that looks really subtle and we have made sure that they have the options available for that as well and these ones have excellent professional looking 3d bevels applied on them so that the graphic looks really stunning another example is this one which has a nice concept diagram with four pieces and here you can write your text about the four components that lead to the success in your career or in your business or any such thing a variation of this is this one where we show the missing piece as well and all these high quality graphics with high quality custom animation are all available to you ready made in comprehensive all in one powerpoint bundle why do you need to waste your time creating your graphics from scratch when you have such high quality solution available off the shelf I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. Please click on the link and find out more details about comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle and see how this product can change the way you create your business presentations forever. Finally, if you are someone who is interested in receiving exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, then please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The tips and tricks that I share here are very easy and very simple for you to use in your next presentations so you can click on the link here join our newsletter and i will see you in the next video